Max Evolution. So today on What the Hell is This and Where Have You Had It From, it's the Max Evolution, which ranges from 2004 to 2006 from what I can find. There's not a great deal of information on this thing, I've thumbed through old PDF scans of Argus catalogues, I've tried the Toys R Us catalogues, I've tried online, there's not a great deal about this, so we're just going to have to discover for ourselves, I suspect. Interestingly, it's a little handheld game player that has 35 games and tools, 65,000 colour high def display, 65,000 what? Pixels? <laughs> Seems like an awful lot. And a touch screen with a little stylus pen a la the Nintendo DS for ages 8 plus. Experience colour now! So, Judging from the uh, the fact the thing's enormous and the screen is uh, tiny, I am expecting this to be quite a nice, high-quality backlit screen, but we will see. The must-have handheld gaming unit. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, I've no idea what these were priced as at the time. I paid about £25 for this. It's all boxed and complete. On the top, it says, Boys Toys, Electronic Boys. <laughs> I do hope this box is not full of Electronic Boys. That'd be weird. On the box itself, Kids Delight UK Limited maintains the highest quality standards. We guarantee our products for six months. Only six months. Not a year, just six months. And you remember that. We can be assured you are purchasing quality in education with Kids Delight. Yeah, so that's our first mention of education. This is all games and tools. Experience colour now. And then this uh, ones and zeros matrix background. What else have we got on here? Performance Max. Insta mood sensor and 20 activities. Also available, I <laughs> see. I was going to say, these are, uh, these are not the same thing. Destiny. 15 personality tests. <laughs> e Evolution. 35 activities. Datamax. Now, Datamax is something I've seen before. Those look really interesting. I've been trying to get hold of a box copy of uh, one of those for ages and ages and ages and ages. But the ones that do come up tend to go for silly money, if they still work at all. And Minimax, portable network play and messaging. Hmm. I'll see if we can get some more of these in the future, depending on how this goes. On the back of the box, stylus with storage on back. Touchscreen and colour LCD. I'm expecting this to be pretty good, but you never know. Contrast adjustment, blah, 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 volume, action keys. Outstanding sound quality. Outstanding. Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, yes, that's much better. <laughs> there we go. Outstanding sound quality. The must-have game unit. 13 learning and mind games. 13? 35. 13 learning and mind games. Superb graphics with 65,000 colours, I see. Uh, touchscreen dot matrix LCD. Mm. Pocket sized with stylus and cord and headset jack. Headset not included. Well, that's probably for the best. And this requires some weird batteries. So not only does it take three AAAs, but you've also got to put a CR2032 in it, which are used in computer motherboards. Uh, what games have we got? Mind, Penguin Rescue, Bubble Buster, Memory Mayhem, DJ Challenge, Peg Panic, <laughs> Box Clever, Reverse E and Twins, and then we've got different ones. Challenger, Catcher Fox, Arctic Baseball, Arcade, Ant Rescue, my absolute favourite of all arcade games, that is. Okay, let's have a look what we've got in the box. Ooh, if we can get it open. <laughs> Come on, mate. You come out of here. Uh, no. No, it's forever sealed in its boxy tomb. <laughs> oh, I don't want to rip the box. Come on. There we go. Cardboard. Yep. More cardboard. Instructions and the unit itself. Uh, go on, let's have a look at the unit and then we'll have a look at the instructions. So, this unit I've got is pretty well used and it's a little bit grubby. But not to worry. It's got a big old D-pad. It's got... Uh, two unlabeled buttons and B plus and B minus, which is, you know, always good. It's got this chrome bezel on it, so it looks like a, it's a car from 1998. Demo on off, which is fine, I suppose. Headphone jack 
and volume plus and minus, and this tiny, tiny little stylus for poking things. So yeah, what have we got on the back? Customer service number, Kids Delight, 2006. Batteries, 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 batteries. Important, after setting the alarm, do not switch the unit off. Okay. Well, that's a big bonus. So, I need to go away and find some batteries and put them in this, because there are none. <laughs> I am uh, assured this works, so we will find out in a moment. Oh, it's got the, uh, the stylus thing still attached, somehow. <laughs> All right then. So, manual. What have we got in the user guide? 8 plus. Ah, item SO604. That's what we like. Yep, put some batteries in it. Here's the thing. Brightness switch on off. Try me. Speaker. Stylus. Necklace. Necklace. <laughs> hmm. Not convinced on that, but we'll have a go. Joypad. Navigation keys. Blah, blah, blah. Brightness. Main menu. Yep, I know how to use a menu. I think... We can live with that. Sports games. Okay, so it's got a screenshot of all the games and tells you how to play them. That will be helpful for nobody. Uh, what else have we got? Where are the warnings? Troubleshooting. If the unit doesn't operate, put some batteries in it. <laughs> if the volume is too low, install batteries. If the contrast of the screen becomes dim, install batteries. Uh, if nothing works, install a CR2032. If the alarm doesn't work, turn the thing on. <laughs> cool. Right, I will go and scrounge up some batteries, and then we will see what e-evolution is all about. Okay, batteries are in, so let's see if we can't give this thing a hot supper. Oh, uh, oh, hello. Evolution. That's, that's barely visible, that screen is. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, mind games. Which is what this thing's going to be playing with us. Oh, uh, yeah, this screen's absolutely horrible. <laughs> uh, bear with, I'm looking through the camera viewfinder to try and see it. Uh, mind games, PDA, let's do PDA. How, how do we do PDA? That one, yes. Clock and date, alarm, converter, phone book, text, phone book. Exciting. Converter, oh, imagine having a converter. Wait, we can convert weight to distance? What? Ooh. Oh, I see. We can convert weight or distance. Uh, let's convert 5 kilograms to uh, uh, 11 pounds. <laughs> My God, this screen's horrendous. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad if we sort of angle it down a bit. Right. Uh, how, how do we get out of this? Uh, <laughs> touch. Yes, okay. Ah, um, mm. touch is not uh, not great on this. How do we, how do we go back? No, that's no, no. That started the thing up again. B plus. Uh, <laughs> uh, hang on. There we go. Right. Okay. So the touch screen bit seems to work all right. Mind games, learning games, sport games, arcade, action, or PDA. Right. Let's have a look at some arcade games. Mole attack. Is this going to be whack a mole? <laughs> play. Yes. Yes. Play. None of the buttons do anything. Okay. So you've got to use the uh, the stylus. Four kids. Try it. Challenge it. Forget it. Uh, try it, I guess. Okay, pressing the screen doesn't seem to do anything. Touching, touching the screen with the stylus doesn't do anything. I, I, I don't... Okay, so I have no understanding of how this works. <laughs> pressing the buttons don't work, and touching the screen doesn't work. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> Uh, land on Mars. Hopefully this will be a, uh, a lunar lander thing. Play. Yep. Okay. Try it. Uh, okay. Yep. This is a sort of lunar lander thing and I've crashed already. Oh, it's very slow. <laughs> uh, come on. Up, 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 up. Over, over, over. Oh, the D-pad and controls are awful. Hooray, we've landed. We haven't landed. Can we land now? 
Okay. Oh no, the low battery light's flashing on the camera as well. <laughs> Close away. No, we can't we can't quit out of this one. There we go. Right, let's have a look at some other stuff. No, not the mole thing again. Why do you keep moving where the cross is? <laughs> action games. Let's play some action games. <laughs> Not that you can see the screen at all. Catch a fox. Let's play that. Play. Come on. Try it. Okay. So the, the fox turns up and then you click him in the face. And I... I, I <laughs> oh, sorry. The absurdity of this has just uh, struck me a little bit. I had uh, pretty high hopes for this, thinking it was going to be a little emulation device or something, but... Clearly it's like original Java games or something. Hmm. What have we got in PDA? Anything useful? Uh, alarm, clock and date, converter. Oh no, we've already been in PDA. Never mind. Sport games. Let's play sport games. Oh no, no, we can't play sport games. There we go. Uh, bowling. Bowling should be okay. Bloody hell. <laughs> play. Try it. Uh, okay. What, what do we have to do? Okay, we have to click the middle button for this one. No, we lost. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Yep, that's a ball. No, we lost again. Okay, and there's no quit button for this one. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's on the bottom right this time, because of course it is. Let me quit! Let me quit the game! And now it's in the top, and now it's in the top again, and now it's in the bottom. <laughs> Speedway! Surely Speedway can't be that bad. Same music as bowling. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, how, do, how, do we, how do we do anything? Ah, oh, it's the world's most unresponsive controls. I, I, okay, clicking the screen does nothing, pressing the buttons do nothing. How unresponsive this is. <laughs> okay, hold up to go forward, then turn. <laughs> oh dear. Enough of that. Yeah, so this thing's uh, uh, terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, let's have a look at mind games. What have we got in mind games? Bubble Buster! Oh, I hope that's Bubble Bobble. Uh, yes, play. No, it isn't. <laughs> Everything's so blue! <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Click things and then things go away. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Right, quit. I think it's fairly obvious why we've never heard of this thing before now. <laughs> yes, you go away. Right, learning games is the very last one then. Sudoku, Letter Quest, Hangman, Super Brain. Let's play Super Brain. Select. <laughs> play. Try it. <laughs> uh, things that you throw, rocks, cakes, what? Cakes. Yes. We throw baseballs. Garlic. No. Basketballs. <laughs> no. That's... Uh... <laughs> okay. Let's put it on demo mode and just have a quick look at that, shall we? <laughs> Everything is so bright. <laughs> Okay, so there's just like a looping video thing for the demo mode. None of these games seem to use the uh, top buttons either. Or the volume buttons. Is that it? Is that it for demo mode? Yes, that that's... that's yeah, that is quite enough of that. <laughs> wow, what a weird thing this is. I'm, uh, I'm super glad that I paid real actual money for it. 
Oh, I'm kind of really glad this is awful, to be honest with you. <laughs> Because it's just horrendous. Yeah, if you want a little, uh, a little tiny used touchscreen thing, go and buy an old HP PDA. They're much better. Subscribe.